got a giant jackal flick shake. Here he comes. Oh man. Oh, my heart is in my throat. Oh, oh! Oh, he's barely hooked. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He is barely hooked. And he's a giant. Oh my god. Catching cruisers. This is the biggest smallmouth bass of my life. Five pounds and 0 0.05 ounces. Giant. Let it go. Oh man. I made a massive cast. We saw some Markle this one. Massive cast and he uh, made a bomb way out past him and set that little drop shot worm. Caught my personal best. Oh sick. Alright, here he goes. Biggest bass of my life. This video, as you can see, is about catching big bass that you see out cruising around. In the clear water in the spring, you can find fish with your eyes and get them to bite. Oh, I'm just shaking. That was sick. One of the best setups I've found for catching cruising bass is this drop shot. Grab my drop shot rod here with a little 4.8 green pumpkin pepper jackal flick shake worm and a little 3 16 ounce drop shot weight. I bomb it way out when I see those cruisers and wait for them to swim by and they eat it. Oh, those are big ones too. I don't know if you can see those, but... Check out them cruisers. One's going right for it. He's right on it, dude. Right on it. He was. He's got it. Got him. Yeah. Out the back, baby. They finally got to my bait. Woo. Yeah. This feels like a, one of those good ones, dude. This little drop shot worm. Killer. That's how you catch cruisers. Oh look, they're following it. Three of them, two of them. Right underneath him. See my bass? Throw up my bass. They're right underneath him. Yeah, right there. Let's see if you get one. That was 
cruisers we saw. <laughs> God, look how fat this fish is. Oh shoot, I hooked myself. Oh man, this is bad. He's a toad. He is a toad. Wow. Oh, what a sweet fish. Catching cruisers. <laughs> wow. Fat. He's probably three. Sweet. Gotta get drop shot bass, big one. Here's another fish I caught that I saw. A little flick shaped worm. A lot of people get frustrated when they see bass and you can't catch them, but these little tricks have helped me catch quite a few more. The flick shake worm catches awesome numbers of bass on super light worms. Oh yeah, I got it tired now. Yes! God, they're so heavy. Look at that. Guess two and three quarters, I go three. Right on the money. Three point zero nine. Bye bye. I see one out cruising here and he eats it. See how that flick shake works on those bass you can see. Now another good bait is this Mega Bass Spark Shad. Wonderful swim bait. When you see fish, it catches them. Oh, got it! Swim bait. Oh yeah! Wait! Good for you. Oh, I can't even. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Swim bait bass. Wind picked up, come out and crushed it. Little mega bass, spark shad, real color. He took the eyeball off my swim bait. Oh, that was exciting. He was at, I hit the bush and I cranked it maybe three or four feet and boom! This is another bass I saw out cruising. The one-two punch, the flick shake worm, the mega bass spark shad. 
check out these clips of some of these other big bass I caught that I saw using these techniques. Big old four and a half pounder on a drop shot flick shape worm. That's a damn sick bass. Oh my gosh. This giant. I saw him swim down and pick it up off the bottom. Oh my gosh. Damn, cracking bass. Lake Mojave, four pounder, pound and a half or maybe two. That's a big bass. The blog crackingbass.com to get the setups on these baits and how I threw them to catch these bass. Hopefully, you picked up a few things and you're stoked to get out cracking them late.